Okay, folks, welcome to another quick little session here on uh, putting together some comparison scans and looking at data that can help you to analyze your target. Now, over here, I just received several scans from a customer and who's wishing support. And I figure this customer asks other customers are also the same, so I'm going to give a little thing here on how I put it all together. I open up all of the scans individually, one at a time, and then I can review them throughout the system here. This is, I'm using system Windows 7, so it makes it a little bit easier to analyze some of the data, but otherwise I just open up the scans as you see here is one. And as you look through the scan here, you see some reds here, you'll see some blues here but they're not connected, there's no real disturbance in the ground and things like that. And what I mean from a disturbance in the ground is if I take for example this here, now I see that there's a disturbance. This area right here says there's a disturbance. Because the area is not normal, it's not um, it's not even. I come over here to the side and I'm going to minimize my difference in height. And as you see, there's a very strong signal right here. This is this yellow signal right here. Okay, coming back from the top view, that's what I'm looking at as my strong disturbance. So let's go take a look at some of these other ones they put together. And this one, this is the first one, I don't see a disturbance. Coming over here, I have data. Um, I have no disturbance here. There's there's nothing that is out of the ordinary. This is normal ground. Um, moving along the line here, I can look over here and say, well, I may have right here between this red spot and this blue spot a piece of ferrous um, metal, but I'd have to check it again, and that would be called doing a control scan. So I'd have to look at that. And continuing on down the line, looking over here this is just normal ground the reason I say this is normal ground it's not doing anything there's nothing exciting here I have this one spot here on the very edge this is usually because of a stop or a turn right here but if I turn it on its side and even taking care of this one edge this edge is right here but if I rotate this around to the other side you'll see that all the values are pretty much sitting at the same level. They're not changing. So when they're all about the same level, you just say, well, that's not very interesting. Even though this one long piece is here, if I took away that piece by moving my um, crosshairs over and hitting the fix in the crosshairs only, I'm still going to have about the same basic levels across the board. They're all going to be about the same. Nothing really changes. Nothing's really significant. It doesn't look like anything is extraordinary. Okay, moving along. I come over here. And again, I have a red over here. I have a blue over here. But I don't have any disturbances. Everything seems to be about the same. Nothing is really stronger than the other where it sticks out. And uh, moving on down the line here, you see there's just no disturbances. So send me the data, but also open up the data in multiple windows side by side where you can change over and look to see one to the other. You must use the same starting point to the same stopping point, the same amount of impulses going across. Folks, the rules haven't changed exactly as stated in the user's handbook it must be if you don't make multiple scans you cannot compare your data without being able to compare your data an answer can't be given and in regards to what a target looks like you'll have a disturbance here's your target here's the disturbance this is where it was buried okay I hope this helps some of you out look forward to hearing from you Thank you very much. Um, control scans. And what a control scan is, is it is a scan where you're going to have one scan, 
next to a second scan, next to a third scan, next to a fourth, etc. With the Visualizer 3D software, the nicest thing you can do with this is you can open up multiple instances of your software. So, for example, um, what I'm going to recommend here is that you put all of your so fo stuff in a folder, as we have here. Okay, and in this folder, you can have multiple instances right next to each other. You just double click the instance, and then you can open up the software. Once the software opens, let me get this back down to the range where you can see it. Once the software opens, then you can drag a corner here, and there's your picture. Now, our the customer who submitted these scans, he says, you know, I did a 5x5 five five meter area in his email. This is the only information I have. I don't know. He says it's the same area. So I'm going to push the F9 key, and I'm going to say this scan here happens to be a 4. And we see he used an evolution. And we're going to go 5 meter by 5 meter. I don't know the soil type. I can push OK and you see it changes the view here. I'll hit this little plus symbol to expand it. So I see this is what it looks like, which looks like a very possible viable target all by itself. Okay. Um, let's see how many rows did he do. Let's count them. This is the first row, second, third, fourth, fifth. We have six rows and he probably did about 24 to 5 meters forward. Okay, no problem. Let's get this back down. Now using one of the features of Windows, when you have multiple instances open, if you have the new Windows Vista or Windows 7, um, it's really nice because you can mouse over your area and as you mouse over it, you can see them sitting right there, right next to each other. And I'm going to mouse over here and say there's number one two, three, four. Well, if these all have the exact same starting and stopping points, there is nothing to compare. This would be either a user error or you're looking at pure mineralization. So you really have to make sure you keep your antenna straight, that you use the best methods possible, parallel, always have the same starting point so your starting point is always here go all the way through keep it straight come back to the beginning go to the left and that way you can put more than one scan next to each other when you have these scans next to each other you can see it is it the same is it completely different because the way I look at it a real target won't move all right I am available for training and consulting. You can call me if you like at OKM. Our factory number is Germany. It's plus four nine three four four seven is the area code eight nine one two six zero. If you need help and you want to speak, I'm more than happy to help you out and talk with you. Um, we have other technicians here who can also assist in the event that I'm not available. Your success is our success. Okay, um, I hope that you, uh, you enjoyed this little tutorial and that it helps and benefits. Thank you.